everybody. Welcome to Uncle Dave's Forget. Today is Monday, so it is Motown Monday. And I've got Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. Talk a little bit about them at the end. Uh, the way I do it here, if you're new here, is I am not the first reaction uh, channel. What I do is play the music in the video and then I comment afterwards. I give a little history, tidbits of information, trivia, that kind of thing. Comment on the song and the artist. If I have some good information to share with you, I will do that. I do not pause the video. I let it play through. So, I know that irritates me on some channels. They pause it every 30 seconds and it, uh, you know, it may even drive you nuts too. But, uh, if you would, hit like, subscribe, post notification bell down there, make a comment, make a suggestion. We're going to get to it in right now i'm gonna stop talking and get to the music this is a uh, in concert version as you can tell it's in later on in his career and uh it's a different version they put a beautiful sax in it and a female backup singer along with the miracles it's really neat let's go for it doctor for a sack But in the game, I lost you. What a price to pay.
he was singing with some great passion there and intensity. This, uh, according to him, uh, was their signature song. This is the most requested song and uh, at his concerts and so forth, and it came about kind of as an accident. Uh, they were singing, he and the Miracles, which by the way, I need to correct myself, the Miracles were not with him. This was later on in his career, and uh, the people behind him were not part of the Miracles. That he had left them in 72 to be the vice president of Motown Records, and so he left them uh, at that time. But uh, anyway, uh, they were jamming one time to another song of theirs, and then at the end of the song, Smokey just went, oh, baby, baby. He said, that was really good. And then the other guys, they were all in sync, and they picked up on it, and they said, hey, you know, let's just jam to that. And so they started jamming to that, and then they came up with the song, and he and one of the uh, uh, other members of the, of the group put it together and worked on it produced this song, which was one of the biggest hits. Linda Ronstadt redid it years later and had another huge hit, and I love her version of it, too. I've done that one already. If you might look for it, I'll refer to it up there. The little card running across the top. I'll uh, do it. I may even do it at the end card as well. But uh, anyway, Smokey is still with us. He's born in 1940. He's 83 years old. He... Um, he met Barry Gordy before he started Motel Records, so he knew him then, and he became a big part. He was producer, singer, songwriter, founder of the Miracles, and they started out, uh, actually, um, Smokey started the band before uh, Motown even uh, came along and under a different name, and, um, and then they originally, then they moved into the Matadors. They started out as... Um, uh, the Matadors, and then they moved into um, uh, the Miracles. Then they moved into Smokey Robinson and the Miracles when he became really big and popular by his own in his own right. And then in '72, he became the vice president of uh, Motown and left the group. Then he relaunched the, it, uh, his career a year later as a solo artist when the record company was sold to another company. And uh, Motown eventually did not exist after that. But they had 26 top 40 hits um, and just a ton of others that didn't quite make the top 40, but they were very prolific. Smokey also wrote a lot of songs for the other Motown artists. I mean, he's very prolific. If you keyed in Smokey Robinson songs that he has written, it's, it's, a, it's a long list. Very talented. He was still in good form here with his, you know, Pretty, I don't know what, how old he was at this particular stage, but it was a very late in his career, and he was still in pretty good form. He could really hit the high notes when he was younger. I, I did this version because it was a slowed down, more rich version than the the, um, the early one was. But um, anyway, he's in the Hall of Fame as of 1987 and Walk of Fame. He's got very well rewarded over the years, and so are the miracles. That's a little bit about them. Oh, the song, um, even though he says it's not autobiographical, uh, um, it is kind of similar to an incident that did happen to him, but, but um, we won't go into that. Anyway, thanks for dropping in. Hit like, subscribe, post notification bell. Please make a comment, make a suggestion. I like to try to get to them. I'd like to know your thoughts. Thanks for dropping by. Be kind to each other. Don't forget to be kind to yourself, okay? Thank you.